fantastic few weeks of work it's been for our contractor and his team, Mike Holmes. Today we've had over 500 community volunteers come out to help us. All here to put the finishing touches to the Jamie Bell Playground and get it prepped for an opening. So thank you so much to everyone who came out today. I'm Rob Richardson from Parks Forestry and Recreation and it's my pleasure to welcome you and to introduce you to Councillor Sarah Doucette Sarah. who's going to say a few words. The Jamie Bell Playground. It's been absolutely amazing and wonderful to see so many people out here today. We started with thunderstorms and rain. We've gone through sunshine. We've got beautiful clouds. We're doing well. I would like to thank my colleague councillors who have also joined us today. Councillor Gord Perks from the other side of the road here. Thank you for coming out, Gord. Councillor Shelley Cowell from Don Valley. And earlier on we had Councillor Paul Ainsley all the way from Scarborough East. Peggy Nash, our MP, and Sherry Denova, our MPP, and by golly, these ladies were working out here, so thank you for coming out and joining us. So after the fire in March, with, which partially destroyed the lo the, our local treasure here, we had an incredible outpouring of support and concern, which has continued from March the 17th to this day with so many coming out today, as you can see. The community spirit which originally created this amazing playground continues with this rebuild. I would also particularly like to thank Jamie Bell's family who are with us today. We have Ruth, we have Adam, who's actually been one of our volunteer coordinators. We've put Adam to work and he's been brilliant. Thank you, Adam. But we do have with us today Kristen, Jamie's daughter, and I'm hoping Sybil is out there, but I haven't seen her. I know she's trying to get here. She's just come back from Australia, so it's a little bit far. Also, the community that believes in and is spirited by, by sorry, inspired by the Jamie Bell Playground has grown so much since the 1998 when the playground was built. The growth has shown what an impact this space has on so many Torontonians, and beyond that, right across our city. So it is very important that we make it right and rebuild it. Volunteers, donors, event day sponsors have come together to make this happen. I have to thank Robin Soros, who had agreed to be our community volunteer coordinator. Robin was involved with the original build, so what a better person to come and help us. She also helped with the second build when we had tree damage done a few years ago. We were really, really, really wanting to reopen today, but unfortunately, even though Mike Holmes and his team have worked incredibly hard to get the playground finished today, unfortunately this was not possible. No fault of theirs. We predicted possibility of rain. We could have worked with that. We predicted possibility of supplies not showing up. We could probably have worked with that. What we didn't predict was the heat wave. The last few days, these guys and girls have worked in excruciatingly hot weather. I was down here yesterday between one and three. I stayed up in the shade. These guys and girls were working on this site. I wish I had an egg. We could have fried it in seconds. 
So our top concern during the working of the rebuild is safety. We cannot let men and women hurt themselves because of the heat. So we are a little delayed, but look what we've got before us today. So the Make It Right team will be coming back this week. And once the Canadian Standard Associ Safety Association has approved the playground and has handed Mike the paper, and Mike has approved the playground, we will be reopening it to the public. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, watch my website, we will let you know as soon as that's going to happen. So for now, let's celebrate this amazing day, the amazing work we have done with everyone coming together to help us. We moved a lot of wood chips. <laughs> and I want to thank you because when we got you started, it was raining, they were wet. Now they're ready to go to the next part of the playground when it is done. I want to just point out though that all the costs related to this playground rebuild were secured through private sector donors, the money, in-kind services. And I want you to also know that we have done this in three and a half months since the fire. <laughs> so I'm now going to thank some people. I want to thank Mike Holmes and his most amazing team. Thank you team. Janet Rosenberg and Associates who has helped design this playground which Mike has tweaked. <laughs> HGTV, the Sprott Foundation. I don't know if we have anyone here from the Sprott Foundation. They were fantastic. They donated $30,000 to this bill, wow. and we thank you. <laughs> Canadian Tire, wow. Thanks to the Canadian Tire adult children, <laughs> this company stepped forward within 24 hours, and we were amazed. Thank you. Not long after that, Lowe's came forward to help us as well. TD Bank was there pretty quickly. And for residents who wanted to donate, you could donate through Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation. To city staff, I'm not sure how many of you are here today, but thank you. I have bugged the heck out of city staff since the day of the fire. I said, when are we rebuilding? We need to get this open. I want it done by summer. And they kept saying, yes, councillor, yes, councillor. But you know what? <coughs> We've done it. And I want to thank them so much. And I they deserve a big hand and a big holiday. <laughs> I'm hoping with us today is also Jim Hart, our general manager of Parks, Forestry and Recreation. He was trying to get here. And again, I bugged the heck out of him. And I appreciate them, their politeness towards me. Rob Richardson, I've called in my magician. Rob Richardson is in partnership development for PFR. Rob and I exchange emails at 10.30 at night sometimes. He is brilliant. But what's so fantastic, he and his team have pulled everyone together. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle. And they've slotted everyone in. Everyone's been able to help. So thank you, particularly to Rob and Mary. Thank you so much. manager he acts like our parks manager he is our supervisor and he has been fantastic we couldn't have done this without George I'm not sure where George is we also have to thank the Toronto Professional Firefighters Association and the Toronto Fire Service we can't get these guys to leave I was here on Thursday I was here on Friday gentlemen and women who cut those wonderful shields which we have been allowed to paint. Thank you so much. We've also had great support from our Toronto, our Toronto Police Services, our EMS, Grace who provided our coconut water which was amazing, the Grenadine Cafeteria Cafe has provided us with ice creams and helped us throughout the project. 
Greening Homes, Cheese Boutique, Starbucks, which got us all going this morning and you were so pumped up after your Starbucks we had to find you work to do. I also want to thank Water on Wheels. They came out and helped us when I'm afraid our own city people couldn't come because they had other events to go to. Finally, I'd also really, really like to thank the special events teams <coughs> from the City Partnership, Canadian Tire, Lowe's, the Grenadier Cafe, obviously our local firefighters and the Mike Holmes team. They have fed us, watered us, and entertained us here today. So a big, big thank you to the special events team. you all for coming out and helping us. This couldn't have been done with one or two people, most definitely. You have all been amazing. You know what? Working together, we can make it right. I'm good, eh? And on that note, please put your hands together and I'm honoured to introduce Canadian's most trusted contractor, Mike Cohn. The dream of what he started, his family even have, Adam here helping me today, was fabulous. My guys are still working back there, we're not going to give up. What we're doing is perfecting the inside to make it safe for the kids. We actually made some changes for a six foot five clearance, so mom and dad, you can run after your kids without banging your heads. And we're, we're, we're going to make it so cool that it's worth the wait. And it's not that we, I was trying to fight the clock, all I'm doing is trying to make it right. It takes what it takes. Without the guys, I'm telling you, working morning till night, we were here very late last night, the night before, the night before that, the firemen keeping us alive yesterday with the cooling chairs and helping us from dropping. We lost about 25 guys yesterday due to the heat. You know, it's not an excuse. It's, it's just doing something right. Here's the part that I really love. The Toronto Parks guys, they care. The people, they care. The kids, they care. And it shows from something from bad comes good. And that's with everyone here. So all I'm saying is... Friday, this week, we will cut a ribbon and every single child here and all their friends can come with me and run through it. Are you ready? <laughs> you have my word, it's done Friday and it's worth the wait, okay? <laughs> keep smiling, we'll keep making it right. Thank you. Activities that have been going on this week. Um, these guys just don't run into burning buildings. They do a lot of great community work. As Councillor Doucette said, they, uh, they stepped up and they cut out all of the shields that the, the kids did the painting on today. And all of those shields will find a home on the new castle. And uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Greg Schultz from the Toronto Professional Firefighters Association. Project for us, and uh, we're kind of glad that it's uh, nearing a completion and it's been great working with all the city staff and Mike Holmes and uh, all the community volunteers that came out today really make this a, a, a great event. So your park's just about ready and uh, enjoy it. And I'd like to introduce Mr. Duncan Fulton, the Senior Vice President of Corporate Fair Affairs for Canadian Tire to come up and say a few words. I want to thank our elected officials that have really, I think, sped along the progress that we've had here. Certainly Sarah Doucette and her incredible leadership well, Sherry DeNovo and Peggy Nash. Very well done. Thank you very much. And Rob Richardson for coordinating so many things for us. It's been terrific. This is not the story of a playground that burned down. This is the story of a community that rallied 15 years ago to build something magical for our kids. To play and imagine. And have come together again 15 years later to do it again. I think it just speaks to uh, the quality and energy and commitment of this community. I think that's terrific. Uh, all of us at Canadian Tire, all of our employees here today, and many of whom consider this park a home for their own kids, are just so privileged to be part of all of this. Canadian Tire is a very unique company. We're probably one of the only big box stores that's run by individual entrepreneurs in 487 communities across the country. And uh, Ted Magnell, who runs our Queensway store, and Tim Tallon, who runs the uh, St. Clair store, have been in here from day one helping. Uh, and when we get behind an initiative, we don't just drop a check and leave. I think we've been at all of uh, all of the meetings that have been organized by Sarah and we'll be continue, continue to be involved in this park for a long time yet to come. Simply a pleasure to be here and for all of you that have volunteered today, thank you so much. And for all of you that are here to enjoy, 
Uh, it's close. So well done. Thank you very much on behalf of the Canadian Guard. The Manager of Corporate Communications for Lowe's. Incredible day. When news first broke back in March about what had happened here, I can only say that we were absolutely overwhelmed with the outpouring of inquiries from our associates about how to get involved in this project. Um, a lot of our associates are, you know, Jamie Bell Playground is near and dear to their hearts. They have very fond memories of the time that they spent here with their families. And we had associates as far as London, um, you know, contacting us about wanting to get involved and find out how they could volunteer their time. It's been absolutely amazing to see corporate partners and the community come together to make this such a great success and to see this come together so quickly. Um, thank you on behalf of the whole uh, Lowe's organization to everyone who has really just rallied together. Uh, Councillor Doucette, I think that this is absolutely amazing that you've been able to pull this off in such a short period of time. Uh, we look forward to seeing the families in the High Park community go on and enjoy this uh, playground for years to come. Thank you. We have a little token of our appreciation for you as well. We have a presentation for you as well. And we've also uh, we made a cake. We made a cake. <laughs> this is a time for celebration. And it just seems fitting. So we made a cake. Last bet you guys want cake badly. I think we should I think we should have cake. You're in? Yeah. Everyone who wants cake, put your hands up. Yeah. There's cake everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. Okay, we're going to cut the cake, and then we're also going to invite our, our sponsors up once again for another photo opportunity. But that concludes the official portion of our day. So thank you, everyone, for coming out and volunteering. You're all phenomenal. And we'll see you later this week for the official opening. Thanks so much. There you go. And then we're going to do cake, okay? You alright with that? I love cake. By that time they'll have found the knife. <laughs>